Okay, so let's create our project now. I'm going to make a folder called the bloat bootstrap and then I'll cd into that. And I want to create an index.html file. And then I also want to make a couple of folders. Uh, I'll make a source folder and I'll make a public folder. And this is where all of our assets will be. Also, I want to initialize a npm package.json file. So I'm going to do an npm init. I'm just going to do dash y to accept all the defaults. And if you don't have npm, you can just head over to nodejs.org and then download the version for your operating system. Okay, and let me do open this project in Atom. Okay, so now that I have my basic folder structure set up, I also I want to install some dependencies. Uh, the first one will be uh, Webpack, which we'll use to compile all of our CSS or all of our SAS into CSS. So I'm going to do an npm dash g for global, and this will um, this will install Webpack with the command line interface. Webpack, and since I already have that, I'm not going to run that. We want to run that, and if you get an error, uh, just try to run the same command with sudo in front of it. Sudo. So And then I'll also want to install Webpack locally to this, this project. So I'll do an npm install dash d for dev dependencies, Webpack. And then I'll also want to install Bootstrap SAS. So we'll be using the SAS version of Bootstrap. So npm install bootstrap SAS. Whoops. Okay, and for the basic setup, that's good enough for this video. In the next video, we'll go into Webpack and we will start learning about how we can compile our SAS into CSS.